Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors? This is Odie, better known to you all as Starstream1988. And here in front of you, as you can see, this is Power Rangers Dino Charge. And this is your Gold Ranger, or the guy that basically drives the Petrozord. Um, very, very nice figure. I'm actually really, really behind on these. For those of you that do watch my videos all the time, I really haven't been buying action figures. Kind of trying to start getting back into it slowly. I don't want to go too, too nuts. And obviously, I'm going to do what I love in terms of my bread and butter. And that would be my Power Rangers and my Transformers. Because that's what I've always really collected. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Here's your Petrozord. Uh, Gold Ranger, I should say. And a side view. There's nothing there. Obviously, this side here shows the app. If you have any dyno chargers or batteries, whatever you want to call them. And in the back of the package, this is a little story on him. And we'll go up a little bit there and you can pause that when it looks like it's ready to go and hopefully you can see that and go from there cool so yeah yeah very nice picture of Ivan there the Petrozor driver and as you can see here in the bottom um, this is what they've added for the um, second release so he's the first one of that line and these are pretty much numbered now you got these guys with the extra armor or the battery that's now in their chest, which is cool. A whole bunch of baddies, which is sweet. Can't not wait to get all these guys. And then there's your Petrozord there, and you will see him pretty soon. And then some more baddies. I have not seen any of these bad guys yet. Um, hopefully, Sculpers ain't just, you know, hogging them all up. Hopefully, we'll all be able to grab them here and there. So we'll see, especially for the kids, more than anything. So yeah, so that's um, that's that. That's the package, and um, yeah, let's open him up because inside the package he is just boring. Let's open him up. Okay, we are back, and there he is out of the package. Pretty nice looking figure. I definitely like his suit a lot. I think he's really really cool looking. Um, let's check him out in terms of his articulation. Um, these are pretty, you know, obviously common now in terms of they don't they don't really have much. In terms of articulation so they have gotten very limited uh, obviously you have your up and down these are some big big ball joints there um he has here his weapon looks like it's the petrozord um I, and i do apologize because i haven't seen these episodes yet so um i'm there it's on my dvr but i haven't watched it so i don't know if this is actually what he uses to form himself um I, i'm assuming it might be but i could be totally wrong i don't know that yet so we'll just leave it at that um but his armor is really nice his colors are pretty sweet uh, but yeah, so he has this and obviously you can take it off if you so wish as you can see there But obviously he'll have it on display like that um, his wrist uh, Not his wrist, but his um Oh god, his <laughs> his arms do turn as you can see there. He has single articulation there single movement. So that's cool um, No waist. These are all fixed now his head actually does turn it won't go 360 It's actually not his turn. It's uh, moving either to his neck. So that's pretty interesting so the head itself isn't on a boy joint. It seems like his neck is. But again, it just it's there and there, and that's honestly it. And even there, it has a little bit of, um, f not friction, but like it's holding, and it's making me not go around. So I don't want to, you know, break it or anything like that. Um, obviously, his belt there is pretty cool looking. That's where they keep their chargers. Um, so that could use a little bit of colors if you, if, if you have that much real good detail. Um, in terms of his legs, single knee articulation. Um, you know, this isn't like a Marvel figure, it's Bandai, so they do keep costs a little bit down, but these, these are still cool. Um, his ankles, not his ankles, his shins have total movement, as you can see there, and he does not have any feet articulation, no, no pivoting. So there you go, that's his full movement. It comes with this really nice sword here, needs a little bit of color, looks kind of boring. Um, so yeah, that's something you can work on yourself if you so wish. His emblem there for his Petrozoa looks pretty nice. So in terms of his, his front is pretty nice. I mean, he definitely has all the right colors, it seems. Might be missing a couple colors here and there. I know there's a little bit of red and yellow on the belt, usually. But you can work on that if you want. And I believe the back of him would also look like the front. So it would have some blue. So he's missing that. But you can work on that if you if you so wish. And you, you're that, you know, that good and talented. So he's not too bad. Um, let me bring one of the baddies out so you can see what it looks like. With the baddie out of the first series that came out. So there he is. He's a little bit taller, which is pretty cool. So this guy's a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's your Gold Ranger. Very, very nice figure. I like him a lot. It's pretty cool. I'm glad I've been able to find some of these at the store. 
um, I think I'll be picking up next the six pack. I'll end up having a pink and um, the leader um, repeats, but I'll probably give them to my daughter or something like that. Um, but I do need to get some of the first wave um, before they're gone out of the stores. As we know, I think what this new month they start releasing even more. Um, so before those are gone, uh, I better go grab them. But yeah, guys, as always, thank you so much for checking out this review. Um, please rate, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I will see you guys later. Peace. And thanks for watching.